welcome back to my channel. It's time for another 2am Layla needs to sort herself out and stop ordering things unboxing video. So uh, as per usual I have a problem and I thought I'd share my problem with you. So I have a collection of goodies in this giant giant box. It's very big. I'm not I mean, if you looked at the thumbnail, it was a lot of, oh, uh, what's happening? Um, it is rather large. So let's dive straight in there and see what 2AM Layla did to herself. First up, we have the obligatory Sour Patch Kids. British Sour Patch Kids don't have the blue Sour Patch, and he is my favourite. Their alternative is a black one that's black currant flavour. Um, their, their gummies are also more kind of squishy and soft. I don't know how to really explain that. But anyway, I do prefer the American Sour Patch Kids to the British ones. So um, I got myself some more of them. Pretty sure this is the September Loot Crate. Um, let me find some scissors and see what's inside. Um, I will be unsubscribing from Loot Crate. I subscribed briefly, but I will be unsubscribing. Um, they're having a lot of, lot of issues and I kind of... It's not worth my money anymore, but I paid a subscription for a certain amount of time, so I'm going to keep with that um, for now, but probably not for much longer. Um, first item in there is a Zelda-related item. I have no idea what this is. No idea, but I do like that the box has a little dragon on it that you could colour in. Ooh, t-shirt. I do love t-shirts. Well, this is a very orange t-shirt rather small for a 2XL. I, I like to have oversized t-shirts. I like to have lots of room in them. I like to be comfy. What else does it have? Ooh, it has a Terminator brain chip. That's pretty cool. Ooh, a little pin, a TMNT pin, and Castle Dice Tower. Ooh, for Dungeons and Dragons. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Let's open her up. Again, scissors, need them. Ooh, okay, I'm not gonna take it out, it's it's gonna be really annoying to put back in. But it is a dice tower, so if you play like Dungeons and Dragons, things like that, it is a game dice, and it has its own special little tower. That's so cute, I love dragons. Little dragon, so cute. Okay, moving on, I have a selection of books. <laughs> Guess I have a problem to share with you. Some of them are from Book Outlet, I think two are from Amazon? I think so. But anyway, we'll dive straight in there. First up is a graphic novel by Marie Lu. This is Champion, the graphic novel. Um, this is part of her, um, it's kind of based on the best-selling trilogy. Um, and it's, yeah, it's just the Legend series. Um, I do have the first one in the series. So I was like, ooh, Book Outlet has this. Wow, they did a really big dot on there. I think it was a little bit overkill for how thin the graphic novel is. But I am trying to read more graphic novels this year, trying to get back into them. And I have enjoyed some really, really great ones lately. So I was like, ooh, Champion's on there. I better grab that. Next up is Song of the Deep by Brian Hastings. This was actually turned into a game. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's got some beautiful kind of holographic, shimmery gorgeousness to it and i forgot to actually put a dot on this which makes me rather happy this is through book outlet um so yeah i the game looked interesting but not interesting enough for me to buy but then when i saw that there was a book about it i was like oh i definitely want the book it's very short it's very cute and it'll definitely fill a prompt at least for any upcoming readathons that i have i also bought arlo finch in the valley of fire as well as in the lake of the moon by john august a friend of mine ages and ages ago said oh if you're looking for a great middle grade book to read start the arlo finch series i think you'll really enjoy it i just never got around to it saw that they were a book outlet and i was like i have to do it these covers are gorgeous absolutely stunning covers um, so apparently they're very good, they're very adventurous, um, and yeah, I, I'm hoping I'm going to enjoy this because it is a friend recommended uh, series, and she said that she adored it. This was very squished in the box, which makes me sad, but it's Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. I have been eyeing this for a while, um, I was going to get around to it. I've had a lot of Little Mermaid retellings this year, but I mean Ursula is everything. So, um, 
I did want to read it and it was discounted, um, but they very much jammed it into the box, which makes me very upset and angry that this keeps happening. Um, luckily they put on the box who is the person that packed it, so you can send like a little message to my US and be like, hey, so my stuff came really crumpled up in the box, there's no protection whatsoever, and I did pay for extra fragile packaging, so I'm a little bit disappointed in that. Um, but yes, Sea Witch wanted to read it, um, was holding off for a while because I, I have read a lot of Little Mermaid inspired books over this year. So this probably won't get read until next year. I need a bit of a break from it because I recently, I recently literally just read last week um, uh, an upcoming book called Coral, which isn't released until later on this year, um, which is based off of The Little Mermaid. Um, so I know that this will probably not get read until next year, but I'm, I'm fine with that. I've settled with that, um, but I am looking forward to reading it. Up next is We Set the Dark on Fire by Taylor K. Magia. Hopefully I've said that right. Um, this is just gorgeous. I mean, look at it. Look at this cover. Very, very beautiful. Um, it's about rebellion and things like that. So I was all like female empowerment and rebellion. I'm here for this. Up next is Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter. Um, this I mean, before I even subscribed to Owlcrate, this is one of the Owlcrates, one of Owlcrates first books that they ever sent out, I believe. Um, and it's something that I've always wanted to get onto. I just haven't found the time. And then it was on Book Outlet and it was only a dollar, I think a dollar 98, something like that. So um, I was like, I should really get onto this. Apparently it's very dark, it's very magical. Um, so I am looking forward to this. I also bought Bright We Burn by Kirsten White. This is the third book um, in the And I Darken trilogy, I believe. Yeah, it goes And I Darken, Now I Rise, and then Bright We Burn. So this is the third book. I've got all the books through Book Outlet, so I was really super pleased to see that the third one was on there. I mean, this cover, again, with this gorgeous cover it's just so beautiful all the covers for this series are absolutely stunning um and i'm very excited to finally be able to dive into this i believe this is the last book i don't think there's another one after this so i'm very excited to be able to read the trilogy in its entirety up next were amazon purchases so i have spark by alice broadway this is the sequel to ink which i absolutely adored i've just been waiting a millennia to get my hands on a copy of the hardback for some reason the hardbacks come out a year to two years after the paperbacks um and I, because i got ink originally in hardback i wanted to get the rest in uh hardback so they match but it's been such a journey trying to find this um so actually no i think i got this from not amazon but barnes and noble had it i couldn't find it on amazon actually yeah i think this is barnes and noble but um it they have the most beautiful there we go they have the most beautiful covers underneath they are gorgeous the covers on the front are gorgeous the covers underneath are gorgeous so i cannot wait to dive back into this this is a beautiful world where it's these people they mark their lives on their skin in ink tattoos um and it's all about this girl finding out the truth about her past and about her father's past and oh it's just such a beautiful beautiful story and I cannot wait for the other, I believe there's two other books in the series that are yet to come out in hardback, so I'm patiently waiting, but I cannot wait to dive back into this world. A much anticipated release for me was this one of Ice and Shadows by Audrey Coulthurst. This is the sequel to A Fire and Stars, which was released a while ago and was sent out in the Owl Crate, and I absolutely adored it, and now we've been patiently waiting forever for the sequel. I think it's been two years, I believe it's been two years possibly, of waiting. I'm not 100% sure, probably wrong, but it feels like two years anyway. So I've been waiting for this for a very, very long, long time. It is a female, female romance. Uh, it is set in a world where it's all kind of mystical and magical. And um, it's just, oh, it's wonderful. Um, completely contrasting two female characters who have ended up together. This is the continuation of their journey. And I cannot wait to dive in and see where their story goes. What I believe is the last book in the box, I think it is the last book in the box, was a pre-order that 
I'm super excited to finally have my hands on and it's When She Rains by Jodie Meadows. This is the last in the series. I am so sad for this to end but so excited. It's so beautiful. Look at this cover. The Full Niles trilogy has been so beautiful from start to finish. It's really uh, lovely for me uh, that it's a story based on a woman of colour and she's physically represented on the front of the book because sometimes uh, you know with a lot of books maybe they won't like put that kind of physical representation on the front so I am super glad and they've kept the same model for every single book which has been awesome and uh, I can't wait and oh yay stickers oh fire cannot exist without something to burn I love stickers that's gorgeous and it's signed. Ah, I'm so excited. Um, the first book was sent out in an owl crate. I fell in love with it instantly. Pre-ordered the second, got it signed, and pre-ordered the third, and got it signed. So I am so excited to finally have my hands on this. I'm going to be so sad reading this. It's got so much great representation, not only with regards to race, but also um, disabilities, things like that. It's got just so much representation all across the board and I love it and I'm so here for it and oh I cannot wait to read this but I'm also gonna be really sad about it but this is definitely going to be I think a November read because October I've already kind of mapped out what I'm reading but definitely in November I want to get into this even more Sour Patch Kids packages and I'm not sure why these ones came in a completely separate thing to the others but apparently I have them uh, I also uh, went a little bit crazy and got some Jelly Belly Jelly Beans because they're my favourite. So I've got some of them, all in different flavours. Very excited about that. So I do love me some beautiful Jelly Beans. Inside here is another Peony and Moss uh, pair of socks. Um, she gave me a discount coupon to uh, purchase another pair because the original order that I did from her, uh, it took a very, very long time to get to me and half the things I ordered weren't in the order. She didn't have them anymore. So um, I used the discount code to get myself a pair of lovely gradient thigh-high socks. I found that the other thigh-high socks that I got through her were super duper comfortable and I just love that these are a darker pair. And uh, yeah, these will be great for kind of if spring ever arrives here. I'm looking out my window right now and it's snowing again. Ah, great. We're supposed to be having spring leading into summer. Summer should be hitting us about November, December time for me. And it's just not happening. Ah, climate change. So these socks will be super, super helpful because they're nice and cozy and warm and it means I can wear other things but still stay warm. I also ordered myself some new jeans. Um, I don't know whether or not they'll fit or not, but the hope is there because they looked really cool. They looked really pretty. So I'm hoping that maybe they will fit and they will look pretty. So that's the hope with the jeans. I like it's kind of a hit and miss thing. I mean, everyone experiences it when you're kind of online shopping for clothes. It's like, oh, that looks great. Then it turns up and it's like, well, I could barely fit maybe my ankle in there. So it's always a little bit sad. Like this one, not, like I'm glad it's got a bit of stretch to it. I hope it's got enough stretch because I got a big old booty, but um, hopefully these will fit because they look quite cool. And I'll be trying them on a little bit later. I also ordered a new pair of boots. I love this box. This box is so cute. Bamboo. Um, again, hope that they fit because I have quite large calves because I walk everywhere. But I just wanted some like nice boots that weren't, I mean, all my boots are black. <laughs> all of them. So I was like, I want some boots that aren't exactly black, but are still a darkish shade. So I kind of got this dark grey, it's looking very kind of gross green on, on camera. I promise you, it's like a dark kind of, I'd say a brownish grey. Um, but they're very cool, they're very stompy, I love them. Ugh, do I even try on camera? <laughs> Will this fit my giant leg in? Please fit my giant leg in. I have to walk everywhere, it's not my fault I've got calves. That does annoy me though that a lot of shoe brands make shoes for people without calves. I mean, there's a lot of us out there that have calves. You could try, you know, make some things for those of us who have calves. 
we're out here, we're walking, we're, we're big girls, you know, make something for calves, please. Yeah. Okay, just about. Okay, so it fits over my calves, but it's a tiny bit tight in the foot, which is confusing. Okay, it fits perfectly fine over my calves. It's a, even a little bit loose on the thigh. It feels a little bit tight on the actual shoe itself, which is confusing and frustrating. But then again, I have just put it on my bad foot. So I have a foot that swells up all the time since I had an accident last year. So that is a possibility as to why. So hopefully the other one will fit perfectly fine. And last but not least, in this wonder box of goodies, I have something rather exciting, or at least I find rather exciting. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Collection Vault Number One. It just screamed to me. It is full of beautiful purpley goodness. Um, I will take it out now just to check because I really hope that nothing's broken. Um, and I will film a look with this, don't worry. Um, let's see if it's in one piece first because that's always worrisome. So comes out the package, boop. Oh, from there. Ooh, it's metal. Like it's a metal tin. That's pretty cool. It is a glossy metal tin. Very pretty. Please don't be broken, please don't be broken. <gasps> yeah, nothing's broken. Oh, that's always a relief. Always a relief. So, this is what the palette looks like. It is so gorgeous. It's filled with colors I will reach for. Purples, blacks, goldish colors. Yellow is a perfect one. Ooh, that first shade, A1, it's kind of like, it looks whitish I think on camera, but it's like a light pink with maybe like purpley flecks in. Ooh, these are some gorgeous colors. Oh, and I love that red. Okay, this is honestly all colors that I would reach for again and again. So I will be very excited to create a look for you. I know I've done a lot of purple makeup looks if you've been watching my makeup videos. I know, I know I have, but purple is my favorite color. So I'm very excited to get my hands on this. And that was it for the 2AM Layla Has No Restraint unboxing video, yay! I hope that you enjoyed all the goodies in here. If you've read any of the books that I unboxed, let me know your thoughts on them. If you have any suggestions for books or things that you'd like to see me try or do, etc, etc, etc. Please say something in the comments section. I love talking to you guys. So even if you just want to say hi, say hi in the comments section. I appreciate that. Whatever you're doing for the rest of the day, I hope a fantastic one ahead of you. And I hope to see you again very, very soon. Bye.